Good morning, folks. Happy Saturday. We're going to be playing a lot of games today and fundraising because that's what I do. Uh, so today we're going to be starting with Wayward, which if you've been here the last like nine weeks, it's a roguelike uh, survival game. I'm just kind of trying to build up a nice little base and get some cool gear and have a nice garden and eventually do what I'm supposed to do and find all the treasure and then like escape back to civilization. So that's like the main goal is to um, find like five or six different treasures. I can't remember how many and uh, get back to civilization because we were stranded on our islands. But before we begin trying to find treasure, I am still fun fundraising for the LGBTQ Freedom Fund which helps pay bail to secure the safety and liberty of individuals in jail and immigration detention. They also work to address the disproportionately high rate and harm of jailing on LGBTQ individuals, which is a tangle of discrimination and poverty. Because <laughs> there's a lot going on in society that conspires against us, especially when we're thrown in jail, and these folks help with that. So if that sounds like something you'd be willing to help, donate towards i have a donation link below the stream well donation button rather that get, has the link in it i can't talk i'm bad anyway yeah donation button below the stream i have a donation command which will point donate that is referenced in the stream title i have the chat bot sharing that link every 30 minutes and when the stream screen comes up I have a QR code that you can scan with your mobile device to also go to the fundraising page. Any way you choose to do so, I really appreciate you for it. And yeah, it's, it goes to a good cause. Especially one that I don't see or touch any of the money from because that would just stress me out. <laughs> All right. So let's see. Brain, fire up on all cylinders. Yeah, there we go. There we there we go. We're alive. We're awake, I think. <laughs> I know my cat is cuz he's yelling to himself in the living room. <laughs> he does that a lot. I drink some of my coffee while it's still hot. Cuz then when I get heavily invested, I'll just forget it exists and then it'll be like ice cold. It'll be like that outcast song. There we go. I was like, oh, game, please, not like this. <clears throat> oh, wow, I've been playing this file since, like, November. That's probably a lo the longest I've played a file in this fucking game. I have a bad habit of wanting to, like, just restart files and stuff a whole bunch. <laughs> It's kind of something I do, you know. Alright, let's check on our tools here. Okay, pickaxe is still doing very good. I think we just recently made a little bark torch because we don't have any animal fat. Because our malign is too high to really get too many giant rats. I don't see very many of them and we need animal fat to make the best torches. So we have to use tree bark. Looks like our inventory is freshly empty too so let's go ahead and start start digging oh oh there's a ghost oh tin gloves all right that counts as treasure because we can turn those into uh, tin ingots Back upstairs. Okay, that's like part of the cave I've already been able to have access to. Ah, oh, yeah, that's right, I was digging this area last time. Yeah, the, the main way we're gonna find more, um, resources on this starter island is if we dig through the solid earth to find them or we find cave <coughs> oh, excuse me we find caves 
I figure me digging through the solid earth to find caves is a uh, good uh, compromise. And what did we have over here? Is this that's tin? Which is not useless, especially since we're gonna be dealing with bronze now as well as iron. This is also a good way to build up strength because mining, the mining skill does that. Or at least it can. Is our mining maxed? Looks like it is, so we might not be able to gain any more strength from mining. Well, on one hand, it sucks. But on the other hand, we won't be gaining surprise boosts to malign anymore from mining, because it's maxed. We can't gain any skill ups from it. At least I think that's how it works. It might not be. Maybe this is an indie game. Yeah, we're just gonna mine for a little bit. Until I find something of interest. This isn't horribly interesting, unfortunately, but... I mean, I kinda need more resources. Specifically stuff like talcum powder and limestone, which are very uncommon above ground. So underground is like your best kind of way to get it. Ooh. Ah. Oh, <laughs> there's just a rat in here. Well, they can you can keep that little cave. I'm not interested in your life. Oh, he can still get. See, look, see, look. I don't even know how the. I didn't even know I could still get strength boosts for mining. Perfect, because you can just kind of mine for a long time. I wonder if it's just like reduced chance. Never mind. It just, it just it just happens when it happens, I guess. Jeez, all right. Said so maybe just needed a, a bit of a warm up time before I started just getting the strength levels flying in. Oh, looks like we find another little cave or never mind. Oh, maybe. Hmm, what do we have here? Well, we technically did find something. I don't want the rocks, but I do want the talcum. We'll take that. One advantage of getting all these strength level ups is every one of them gives us one more carry weight, which is just more shit we can haul back. <laughs> Check out more of this cave. Hmm, that looks like it's more talc. Sweet. Okay, we'll drop the rocks into the water here because it just kind of gets rid of them. one of these is equipment this one yeah I usually like having that up and open because it lets you do stuff like uh, more easily reignite your fire and etc 
Well, we definitely want this talc, so we're gonna kind of mine around to it because I can't be bothered dealing with this fucking water. Because there's just deep, deep fresh water around here. Which, which is great, but I mean, I have like infinite water upstairs anyway, so like, who cares? Okay, I think that's just all tin. Which, I did, I did say we're gonna need tin at some point, but we, we got plenty of opportunities to get tin that aren't like right here. And we're interested in trying to find some talcum and some limestone and, oh, hello. <laughs> <clears throat> Kind of surprised me a little bit. Um, well, we got to cut this guy up, even if we don't want the bones, which I don't really care for right now. That's not why I'm down here. We got heaps of bones already. Oh, here we go. Ah. Oh. <clears throat> We might have found a new cave. Let's see if we can finish exploring this one first. <laughs> Before we start going gallivanting and off into another one. Ooh, like a little, little cave house. <laughs> Excuse me. Well, there's like nothing in there. Ooh. Ooh, limestone. Hello, beautiful. Let's just grab that. start actually we need to grind these uh, uh this stuff up and then put it in our bag might as well just grind it up now i've got the i've got the pestle and mortar on me it also reduced the weight of it and in the case of the limestone significantly not quite as much weight weight reduction with the talcum because it's already not super it's either already not super heavy or like the weight isn't much less. Yeah, the weight's not much less than the uh, the rock form. Oh, so we need to repair our pestle and mortar. Okay, ready for more grinding. Literally. <clears throat> Okay, so that seems like the first bag that gets uh, stuff moved into. I'm not gonna try to fight the uh, the game on this. I'll just move the bags in the order that from top to bottom that they get uh, stuff moved into. Like I'm I'm not gonna fight it anymore. I've tried to tried to like figure out how it works and like it's just like. Hmm, maybe it starts from the right to the left like that. Probably, it probably does. <clears throat> None of this really matters in the grand scheme of things. But, yeah. God, music in this game is so good. Compliments to the chef. All right, let's see what else we can find around here. Some coal, not really super interested in coal because I can just, uh, make my own charcoal pretty easily so it's not really worth our weight necessarily in my opinion to do anything with coal 
Lots of tin down here, which is great, but we're not really necessarily looking for tin right now. We've got plenty of it closer than here. There's some talc though, we'll take we'll gladly take that. Wait, why is game? Why why are you put why are you doing this to me? I, I was thinking I had it figured out. Weird ass game. That's okay. Oh oh hey, there's a giant rat. Well, I did say I wanted some uh, some animal fat, so we're gonna put that in, sit in storage safekeeping. Don't really need any of the rest of this, honestly. I've got way too much of the fur at home anyway. We'll, we'll, we'll pile some rocks on top of the body at the very least. There we go. I had a respect for the rats. Noble sacrifice of animal fat. Hmm. All right, next uh, exploration bit. Let's see what we have. Talc. Okay. <clears throat> now, if I do make some more uh, glue, I should be making my uh, pestle and mortar much more powerful than it already is, because it's, it's been slowly but surely losing durability over the repairs I've had to do for it. Okay, I think that's just tin, right? Yeah. Okay, so this whole little cavern area here is... Empty now. Which I don't want to run into this big cavern sooner or later, so it's not like super, like super big deal. I broke off where I did because I would have ran into the bigger cavern eventually going that same way. So yeah, drop, drop, drop. Uh, talc. We are finding a fair bit more talc than limestone, as per usual, unfortunately. Yeah, we would have ran into this monstrosity at some point anyway, too. So, oh, there's is this all talc? Ooh, hello. More strength, okay. Funnily enough, the talc doesn't weigh much, but the, the rocks that come with the talc weigh quite a bit. But thanks to like the four or five strength doubles I've gained this mining trip, I'm just gonna let us carry a lot, most of the stuff back pretty, uh, pretty handily. We are, we are gonna still grind it up. Cause that will let us kinda do more mining. Working ourselves to exhaustion. We're also thirsty. I 
I do have some food I can eat that I need to eat because it's going bad very uh, slowly but surely. So we're gonna eat some of you. And we got this, we got a uh, exceptional exceptional bottle here that boosts the power of whatever water we put into it. So we're gonna drink some of that and there we go, good as new. Let's close you and you and repair you. Cool. All right. So now let's continue crushing up more of this. That's full. That's basically full. That one's basically full as well. It, it may be within our best interests to just head back now. Honestly, I don't really need it to get out of here. Oh, I say as I run into the wall. I'm just like staggering around in the dark like a fool. <laughs> All these damn rocks in the way. Honestly, right, so just get it out of my way. Oh, oh, we found some. We found some talc hidden in the wall. Just out of view, too. Oh! Just clobber the poor skeleton. I'm trying to decide which day I want to do RimWorld on whenever a game finishes on that day. I'm, I, I've been contemplating... Uh, don't die. Fine. I'll pick, I'll pick your corpse clean so you don't come back. I've been contemplating... A, doing Shadows of Over Loathing Day being replaced when that game's done. That game's probably got like another stream or two left in it. But um, also I'm just thinking, you know, this game, this slot too. Like the very early spot could be the RimWorld spot because, I mean, RimWorld's not like a survival game, but it can be. It's a story, it's a story creating fucking game basically. It's like a story, story generator. We don't find any more uh, surprise uh, nodes of materials. We should be getting out of here very soon. I'm almost certain it's like 10. Yeah, it's 10. Ooh, I should, probably shouldn't have hopped in the water with like no stamina. I'm being a little risky right now, but I've got full HP, 91 HP at that, pretty good armor. Most of the stuff that spawns down here doesn't can't really hurt me too bad, if at all. Like those little skeletons? No, not a chance. <laughs> ah, okay, here we go. I'm pretty sure I can just dig now without losing stamina. Never mind. Well, we, we we made some good progress there. So we're gonna just limp our ass back home. Cause we're exhausted. I should probably bring more water with me, just so I can drink it to Granted, we were we we're literally surrounded by water, but it's not purified, so I probably would be a bad. Oh, 
Oh, well, there's another rat. Oh, that's a little rat. Well, I feel bad. I didn't really uh, want to fight that. I thought that was a giant rat. I was like, oh, cool, we get some more animal fat. But no, that's just a, that's just a baby. There we go. I did that so I could get rid of that part deep bit of water there that's kind of in the way of this line of stuff. We can't we can't jump in the boy we can we can throw things down there but we can't jump in. As much fun as it would be to just endlessly fall into the abyss, you know. Sometimes you got to have standards. <laughs> Well, so far, this digging a hole, just digging a straight line through the center of the earth has proven to be a pretty decent way to actually find stuff, all things considered. All right. Very hard. I don't know if I've ever had this high of malign intentionally. <laughs> Looks like our character is hungry. So that gives me an excuse to eat another uh, bit of meat. Let's see, 4.6, 1.9. Well, we're gonna eat this one. And honestly, we could probably get away with eating another one too. Yeah. That's just like fish meat that I have like left over <laughs> from my shark murdering days of like sometime last stream when I was like swimming around or had probably was sailing another place saw some sharks killed them got free food because <sighs> some at this point with how powerful my character is sharks are a reliable food source <laughs> especially if I choose to um to cut them up and um turn them into like um yeah, if I choose to cut them up and turn them into more uh, bait. All right, this poor, t poor little tin chest is basically full. I'm tempted to actually make a, a chest out of wrought iron. Uh, where's wrought Because they have a capacity of 125. Which is significantly better than, you know. Yeah, this is where I keep all of my uh, finished medals. Which is typically not wrought iron. See if I can. I want to try to make the highest quality uh, raw iron possible. I mean, I probably should be using this to just make iron instead, but eh. My skill level is not quite high enough to, prefer, to make me comfortable do, doing iron uh, chests, which I believe I have like 150. But. Making a raw iron chest is, well, if I, if I can actually do it, where's the, do 
I mean, I have enough. I, surely I should. Uh, tongs. I thought I, had, I thought I had tongs in here. I, I, I might have moved them to the other... Uh, I might have moved them to the other, uh, yeah, I moved them to the other chest. Well, that's a, that's an easy fix. Well, let's, uh, play past the tongs. All right, let's try making one. Oh, well, that worked surprisingly better than I expected. Okay, oh, excuse me. Voice is like, ah! like I'm a fucking Canadian goose. Uh, let's pick up this chest. Open you. And open the our new wrought iron chest, which has 25 more weight. Start just moving stuff over. Move to right iron chest, move all iron, move all bronze, and move this as well. All right, right iron chest is pretty full. <clears throat> but honestly, that's 25 more spaces for ingots and stuff, and I need to get this chest replaced too. And we currently have, we need one more wrought iron to, to make another chest, so let's just do that. Huh. I expect that to be harder. Uh, oh, our craft chance is 72.9. That's actually pretty damn good. Yeah, especially for over here, which is, this is already holding, like, wrought iron and shit. <clears throat> like, this area in particular is the most important place to have good chests. This one's gonna get picked up. And we can we can turn these tin chests into you know tin ingots to make bronze with as well, so even better. Probably we might end up doing the same thing with the copper chest, because the copper is more useful as bronze than it is as a chest. Although that copper chest might become a food chest, because copper has the highest uh, food preservation um, modifier of all uh, metals. So that one might just get put in like that room to be kind of like a little bit of a fridge. Just for the sake of, oh, well. I thought there was a bag there. There appears to not be a bag there. Uh, okay, that's, this is the empty one. So I'm gonna put that away. Yeah, we're gonna be moving all the stuff from this tin chest into uh, the wrought iron chest. Okay, and then this wrought iron chest gets placed down. We should take a water break because <laughs> our, our poor, our poor little shitter is a little thirsty. Our poor evil little. Well, it's hard to say like evil per se. I mean, we are like digging through the crust of the earth to try to find minerals, which like, the, the the game considers a little uh, unethical. <laughs> But, you know, you, you do what you gotta do. As long as it's not like, you know, war crimes. You probably shouldn't do that. Yeah, we're gonna just gather liquid with our bottle. Because this bottle is better, th better than the rest. By a significant margin. <clears throat> like, this bottle can give us, like, an extra, like, up to four in every... 
Actually, even more than that, like, no. It gives, an, it gives up to an extra four recovery of all the stats that water can normally recover, which... Yeah, it's like, can be the extra hunger, extra thirst for, like, nothing other than you just have this purple bottle that's pretty cool. The best part is, we can just make more water. It's super easy. At least with, at least with this method. Alright, with that, our, our hunger and thirst are full, and our stamina is pretty good, too, so. A lot of this, um, blacksmithing and crafting stuff takes a lot of energy. <clears throat> okay, so this chest can now accept more, um... can accept more uh, resources from our bag. <clears throat> Unfortunately, that chest is now also full. <laughs> Okay, we have, a, we have a good amount of talcum powder, as you may be able to tell. Ah, uh, God. Um, well, the good thing about that is that we can uh, use some of that to make some, uh, some copper bars. We can also disassemble all this, all, both these tin chests. Just get a bunch of tin uh, ingots. Which we can use to make bronze. Yay! If I had copper, that is. But we can get that too. I think one of my limiting factors right now is going to be uh, charcoal, so we should probably make some of that if I already didn't. I, I, I swear I, re I remember doing at least one thing of that last time. Probably used all of it though. <laughs> this whole charcoal creation process is a bit uh, labor intensive and uses a lot of wood and etc. Um. Hmm. We could just go deforest part of the island, I guess, but mm, wasn't really super keen on that. And I guess stuff like this, I can uh. Turn that off for now. Uh, what I can do is um, do this and just like replant uh, seeds that I dig up that are on dirt, like this. I'll also do that for these pine trees because their their seeds are a little annoying to plant, so I'll just replace them all with maples. It's fine. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Um, Okay, let's consolidate this stuff so I can close this backpack. Okay. Fire starting. Mmm.
Doing all this also gets us a lot more stuff to make fires with, which is nice to have when we go to other, uh, to other islands, like the desert island that just doesn't have a lot of that stuff. Okay, and we'll split the logs. Putting a log technically gives us more fire starting stuff, but I. Mm. But I think twigs and leaves are much more lightweight, so they are much preferred to use over bark. So I think I'll just passively build up more uh, leaves and stuff as opposed to using bark. I was, using, I was using bark because that's all really all I had access to on the desert island, but you can just like, you know, leave, hit the bricks, <laughs> and then come back once we got a bunch of, uh, you know, like once you just got a bunch of fire starting stuff, you know? gonna just uh, fill this bad boy up not entirely because that'd be that'd be ludicrous but oh did I get a how many? Oh, I only got three. I was like, did I get like four logs from that? No, the answer is no. I just can't count. <laughs> oh no, shark tooth. Shark tooth. Ooh, ha ha. Okay, and then we'll move all of our twigs. Having like. 30 pounds of tin ingots in my bag is since well actually these tin ingots are very light compared to what I was expecting them to be <clears throat> and it looks like tin is just kind of light in general we'll, we'll move that stuff to this bag kind of get it out of the out of our bat out of our way <clears throat> okay let's drop all of this stuff too because it will give us a bit more weight back yeah we're gonna be splitting all these uh, planks as well when time comes Okay. Till the dirt. Plant that. Till the dirt. Plant that. I'll just do this and we'll just chop some we'll chop a bunch of trees. The ones that are on dirt at least are gonna get chopped and replanted. If they're not in dirt, I'm not gonna bother them. Cause then I'll just kinda I'll have to make more dirt out of the forest. And I like how you know the forests look, so I don't really want to do that. Hmm. Actually there's I could just be, you know smart and um cut down the trees that are already fucking dead, but I never said I was always very smart. <laughs> Not that I really care about my line, because if I'm really interested in getting rid of it, I can uh, go to like the swamp island and just fight things, and sometimes they can drop those uh, orbs. They can spin counterclockwise, and that will uh, significantly reduce your malign. 
You can also use them to increase your malign if you really want to for whatever reason you have. I don't know what that would be, but you can you can definitely do it. Alright, fire start. I'm just gonna roam around to all these, uh... Oh, I didn't even know there was switchgrass over here. I'm sure I've seen it before, but I just... Meh. Can't say I've really cared or bothered to deal with switchgrass much in, in, in previously. In, like, any file, really, it seems like. I promise there's a point to me doing all this. I'm not just like cutting down trees for fun. I, I like trees. <laughs> but if you, you if you need stuff, you need stuff. And yeah, these logs are uh, bulky. So are these. Just trying to move these out of the way of the eventual sticks that we're gonna be putting in the ground. I have a specific hotkey just for the sticks down here. I think it's four, it's build, and it uses up any poles that we have in our inventory. Hmm, actually, if I go to far start, far, far start, fire starting. Yeah, that's the one. If I, if I go to fire starting, just, I have some seeds in here that have just been in here forever. I might as well use some of them on some of these dead trees. If these dead trees are on uh, dirt, at least. Oh, that's kind of a weird place for trees down here. Perhaps I should just plant a bunch of just normal trees. Because the trees up here I have to, I'm growing to technically have uh, better wood for tools and such, but there's only so much wood you need for that. And I guess I'll still, I guess I'll work on the forest some more. I shouldn't have cut the, that other tree. I was barely, I was barely able to kind of scrape away with some more uh, bag space. <laughs> Got a little carried away. Yeah, this is getting us all like, just so much fire starting stuff. Oh, what the fuck are you? Ah, is that a Kraken? You look like uh, you're a little scary. Um, you might be dangerous to me. <laughs> oh God, am I about to fucking die? Oh, they're bringing all the little friends, huh? Um. I guess we can see how we match up against the problem. Not well. No, not well at all. I 
Not, not well at all. Oh, my anatomy is high enough to see, like, how much health it has, so yeah. Um. Good, good reason that we have, uh, this. So we can, like, get away. Um. Yeah, we're gonna... We might leave. <laughs> or at the very least, might get on the boat and, like, sail away and come back and see if that makes us despawn. Because I don't think I can really deal with that right now. My gear is a little subpar to, to, to handle that. I, I vaguely remember there being a Kraken in this game, so I was like, hmm... It is vulnerable towards fire. I do have healing stuff. And I can make, I can get fire. How much does this bandage heal? Um, all of the HP I lost. Well... Stop attacking my shit. Oh, I can hurt you with fire, fucker. Leave my chicken alone. No! Not my chicken. Oh, I killed I killed the Kraken. <laughs> Alright, cool. What is this thing weak to? Nothing. It resists fire and blunt? Well... How about a stone axe, asshole? I'm just trying to cut trees in the woods. Y'all are just being rude. <laughs> well, I, 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 unfortunately for this chicken, it uh, perished in the line of duty, but it was a very good distraction. The Kraken decided it was more interested in killing it than me because I had a fire torch. <laughs> Ooh, goodies. What, is, what do you have? Tentacles, slimy, wriggling tepanage from an unlucky cephalopod. Can be eaten, but with some force due to the rubbery, unpleasant texture. Well, we can probably cook it. A moldy scroll. Well, that was exciting. Just a crack and emerging from the fucking forest. Oh, poor chicken. Your death will not be in vain. <clears throat> I will... Uh, uh, your, your death will not be in vain because I am hungry. <laughs> That's horrible, but, you know... What can you really do? Sometimes you're just chopping trees in the forest and you get hit by a kraken. I guess that's why you don't want your malign very high because shit like that can spawn. And yeah, I need a better shield and better armor to really go toe to toe with that. I was lucky I had the stuff to do a, a torch on me. Because otherwise, yeah, that would have uh, been. I would have had to le oh, really. You just gonna fucking be in my garden? It's not your garden. It's my garden. Apple seeds. Let's drop all this other garbage on the floor. It probably is in my best interest to go get my uh, get my uh, my line down. Honestly, it's probably a wise idea. What is this? Com you just the thing. Does that monster just drop compost? It might have. Well, we got some we got some brains so we can make some glue for my pestle and mortar like I was talking about Ooh, we made some good quality glue hopefully that gets more of a repair on our pestle and mortar than other things let's see let's repair it up first 
36 and reinforce and now it has 87 and repair that and all right that's not bad animal glue is not very good but it's better than nothing especially early game like like if, as, the, as soon as you kill a giant rat and have a way to get like water and fire you can make animal glue it's very accessible oh speaking of accessible uh, let's cook these uh, tentacles Tentacles. Well, that was exciting. Yeah, we're probably gonna. We should probably make it a, a little bit of a voyage. Cause that's the first time, that's the first time in a minute I have ran into something like that. Like I've run into some stuff like the skeleton mages or whatever. But that's an entirely different deal. All, that's like a different power level entirely. Was it, was it this shield that's the best? Uh, eight defense compared to iron, which is uh, five. Okay, plus one slashing, plus one pierce, plus one cold. Oh, metal shields, that metal shield at least doesn't have any negative defenses. Mmm, I see. So basically, against well, actually, even against blunt and cold, it's still it's still probably better than the iron shield. Uh, it's it's equal to the iron shield when it's against the things it's weak against, but otherwise, it is the bronze shield is superior. It is gonna it is a little unlikely to make it, but you know what? I'll take those odds. Oh, hey, we made it. <laughs> All right. That is probably one of the better, best items in the game. If we clip in our offhand. Let's see, 31, when proofs we had 26. Okay, so it's a, it's a little better than what I thought it was gonna be. Unfortunately, also weighs 10 fucking pounds. Hmm. That is, that is unfortunate, but the weight is the weight is worth it. And 34 defense, yeah, it's like that's literally like like six or so more. I think. I mean, I could just look. It's not like hard to do that. I could say equip you an offhand. Oh. What was I doing? All right, 17. Let's equip that in the offhand. So that makes our defense go up to 20. Let's equip like a normal weapon. Okay, 26, which is what it's normally gonna be because I'm almost always gonna have something in my main hand. Uh, but now. From 26 to 31, okay. <laughs> oh, that's what it was. If you, if you have a shield as your weapon, you get more defense. <laughs> that's silly. I like that. It's funny, but it's silly. But yeah, ordinarily our, uh, our defense is going to be 31 instead of, I think it was 26. Yeah, so this shield is a uh, is five better. And we can also disassemble it for more tin to make more bronze with anyway, so yeah, we're yeah, it's it's good.
Oh, that's right. I get I get interrupted. <clears throat> I got interrupted when I was trying to uh, to make the charcoal for this smithing process, but I might have to divert that now that I'm getting fucking krakens. Uh, yeah, we might have to go like hunt some some critters. I have to go to the, to, I think the Swamp Islands where I was finding those hob, hobgoblins. Which, the hobgoblins were giving me those uh, orbs, which I am very keen to get more of, because they, they make, they make the whole reputation rehab process a lot easier. Yeah, I'm not interested in uh, taking. I need to empty my bags before I go anywhere, because otherwise, it's just... if I do find anything cool there, it's not gonna be. It's gonna be bad. Like we're gonna have like full bags, you know. It makes sense to me to just empty all of our bags of stuff. But we can dis we can disassemble these gloves while the fire's still going. tentacles in here don't know how much they restore hunger wise but that's we'll, we'll probably find out after we s go sailing still got our medicine water new shield see up until now this um my scale stuff has been more than good enough to kind of just deal with whatever enemies come our way, but that Kraken doing 14 to us has kind of changed my mind on how good the scale armor is. I mean, it's great, but yeah, maybe some bronze armor would be ideal. But let's look at all our bags here. Oh, we, okay, we currently are, so that means everything else is emptied out. Just gonna drag all the bags everywhere. That needs to get turned into a torch before I leave. Nah, eh, whatever. I can fire starter can just hang out down here. Okay, so many bags. <laughs> Okay, so I think I need some fabric for turning it into a torch. So, which I have some right here. We can make we can make cotton fabric because we have, you know, cotton. Our cucumbers are currently going out of control. <laughs> Okay, we don't need to worry about the cotton right now. I just need to find a, uh, I think it's like a twig. Not a twig, uh, a pole of just any kind, really. Oh, I have to make tallow first, actually. Yeah, that's right. Now I need the pole. 
Which honestly, after dealing with that crack, I kind of want a very good pull so that I can uh, make a good try to make a good torch. Malevolence. Oh. Well, you know what? Screw you. We're gonna do it anyway. Ooh, what I gotta say, superior tallow torch. Not only really affected its durability, but hey, I'm fine with that. So this little um, bark torch is now our our backup torch. Okay, so we got food, we've got fire starting stuff. Let's go ahead. Make sure we've got water, which we do. We've got food. Let's go. We're gonna go back to the swamp and we're gonna just uh, fight things. I think the shores of Moss is, yeah, that's where we've been to. I'm gonna take a drink. Mmm. Alright, we have arrived. The shores of moss. It's all green and shit. And we are hungry. Well, let's, uh, let's taste test one of these, uh, tentacles. Uh, makes us thirsty. Eh, it gives a decent enough hunger. We'll just kind of eat all of them, I guess. There we go. Then we can drink some of our super water. Like I've definitely been to this island before, it's just a matter of like figuring out where I got dropped off at. Just sailing, just sailing, just sailing. Well, goddamn. <laughs> okay, now we're now we're starting to kind of get to where we've been before. I'm almost certain I made like a little base camp around here, specifically. I want to say like down here somewhere. Oh, absolutely. We've arrived! And I also I already have solar stills here too, so. So we got some purified water. <clears throat> we can gather that with our, uh... or is it purified? It is, okay. We can gather that with our good bottle. All right, well, that's a leaf bed roll. We've got spike rushes. We've got a wrought iron chest here. Full of pemmican. <laughs> well, that's food covered if we really need more. As I still got some fish I gotta eat. So, eh. Oh, did we plant some pineapples here? We sure did. We also planted the cucumbers. We're not very good cucumbers in comparison to what I figured they would be, but hey, you know what? That's fine. Food is food. Matter of fact, I'll grab these now. Just gonna grab a little bit of everything.
All right, cool. We have we have we've we've been trying to propagate the species. <laughs> just for this, I mean, you don't need pineapples. They're just extra food. But you know, you need food to live. All right. Underground, it doesn't necessarily matter what time of day it is, so we're gonna just kinda go. Hopefully the hobgoblins still spawn at this difficulty level. Cause if not, that's gonna kind of skew the whole reason I kinda came here. Not gonna lie. Well, I can imagine some krakens live down here though. Ugh. I've, I've fairly well explored this, uh, is that, uh, okay, that's iron. I think the swamp islands have a large concentration of iron. Oh, there's a slime. I'll take that, that's some good glue. Probably the best. I'm pretty sure I've already ex Does the sl shallow slime water just gonna spawn y'all? I mean, not gonna complain. I definitely could use some more glue for my uh, pestle and mortar. Oh yeah, you, you can definitely tell I've already been here. There's just like piles of rocks everywhere. <laughs> Perhaps I should explore further afield. I'll make sure that this area has been kind of investigated first, at least. What is that? A uh, wooden shield. Probably an extra one. Yeah, I feel a little bit better about my chances against a Kraken now that I've got a better shield and... Oh, the torch I have is a little bit better too, even. Oh, I just, just killed you. Stop following me. <laughs> Rude. How dare you? You're supposed to be dead. Well, I guess you could say that in general because it's a fucking skeleton. It's like, oh, you're supposed to be dead. And it's, you know, just not. <laughs> Probably the crux of the problem, I would say. <laughs> Now I know there were some bog bodies that were just kind of hanging out down here, but I've been—it's been a while since I've been to this island, so maybe they despawned or something. Kind of just want some hobgoblins to cl clobber, but again, they might not exist at this uh, malign level. It might just be a bunch of krakens and shit. Ooh, what do we have here? Oh, iron. I'm not really that bothered about getting more iron at this point in my character's life. I have plenty. That's the, ooh, hello, there you go. That's what we're looking for. You can keep your probably shitty granite ax, but we're gonna collect those. I don't, I don't know if I wanna use them. Might as well just use it now, right? Yeah. You rub an orb of influence counterclockwise as it, as it quickly disintegrates in your grasp. These lands will more, now act more positively to your presence. There's still going to be plenty of, um... Oh... Uh, not, no, that's really worth my time. There's still going to be plenty of enemies coming at me, but... Maybe slightly less Krakens. Oh, I see you're a Cranberries fan. Okay, bye. <laughs> Bonk. Asshole. I was gonna just walk by you, but no, you're just you just gotta smack me with your little zombie ass. Rude. A lot of clay down here, I've noticed.
Hmm. Man, I can't complain too loudly because I've already gotten like one of those, uh, orbs. And that's kind of why I came here. I didn't really come here for resources necessarily because, well. Oh, here's a bog body. Resists blunt, slashing, and pierce, and is vulnerable to no damage. I don't know if it's worth my time bothering these. They don't really bother you anyway, they just kind of like wander around. Like if you get close to them and are feeling froggy, they might attack you, but they don't really do much and I have better armor than I was than the last time I was here. So it's probably not even worth their time bothering them in the first place. Okay, we got some more iron in the wall. I think these islands have almost exclusively just iron in them. There's another bog body. It's gonna just kind of wander around mostly randomly. That's a vampire bat. That's probably gonna come visit us. That's fine, I can, I can eat it. <laughs> I'll just clobber, I'll bonk it over the head and then throw it in the soup pot. Hoping I'd get more of those hobgoblins. Because I felt like I couldn't move without running into one when, early on with uh, lower malign, so maybe that's. Maybe their spawn chance is much lower. I didn't even find a, like, talc or limestone or anything here. It's kind of worse than I was expecting. Oh, here comes the bat. We'll deal with it when the time comes. Which probably soon. Yeah, it's gonna be like right about now. Strength increase, bat destroyed, mmm, food. And we can build that and then cook the bat meat on our torch. Eat it, drink our, our bottle of good water. And re-equip our torch and off we go. Bat basically just gave us a, a, flo a floating snack. Oh, hello. I mean, they'll, they'll kind of scrap with you a little bit, but ultimately they're pretty, pretty harmless. Oh, I need to turn the uh, drop on chop thing back on. Drop on chop, hop and pop. Oh, hello. Oh, I'll kill you. We got all sorts of little friends around here. Is that another orb? It, it, ooh, a golden sexton as well. We're gonna, I'll take both of those. I think this is one of the treasures. Yeah, it is. But you can also use it to help you navigate better. Bog body, that's rude. Hmm. Other than the uh, orbs. Has the zombie risen from the dead? It might have. Well, it's dead again. I'm a fool. I forget you can just like, uh, you can scoop up the, the goo from the, uh, you can scoop up the body parts of the hobgoblins that are made of like edible meat. A like good edible meat too. Ooh. Well, that zombie's just bleeding everywhere. Yeah, it seems like coming here was. Ooh, hello. Never mind. I changed my mind. It seemed like coming here was a waste of time other than the, uh, other than the, um, the few orbs I've gotten already, which those are very worth coming here for. I mean, 32k, let's, let's rub another one clockwise and that, like, set, like, 7k benign in one go. That's, there's no better way to get this shit, it seems like.
Plus we're getting some glue, some slime goo, and we're getting some meat. And frankly, we could go ahead and make some more animal glue too, but I'm not really that bothered right now. I'm just kind of wandering around down here. I'm, just, I'm, I'm almost certain there's more caves to explore down under this island. It's just a matter of finding them. Hmm, where does this take us? Somewhere up top I've not explored to yet. Yeah. Slime glue is better than animal glue, so it's, it's always worth your time to kill slimes. They don't always drop the orbs, but I've killed a few of them so far just on this trip here, and I've already got, I've gotten like two or three, so it's not unlikely to get. You just gotta, you just gotta. I don't know how spawning works, but you just kind of have to give it some time. And yeah, so we're, that's what we're doing. We're we're giving it some time. Oh, here's the one I killed earlier. Just uh. Get some more uh, goodies. There's that granite axe. I was like, ah, son of a bitch. I don't want this. <laughs> hmm. I could just start tunneling off in a random direction. Oh. Excuse me, bog body. That's, that's a little rude. All right, I'm just gonna tear that apart and we'll deal with the bone we'll throw the bones away somewhere else oh what are you oh you're an aberrant vampire well <laughs> good job I guess uh, aberrant's usually a little scarier but that one was just kind of orange just kind of just an orange bat and it did give us some powerful Raw meat of hurling, that doesn't sound appetizing. <laughs> now what the hurling me actually means is you can just, it's good at, good to throw. You can throw it farther than normal things, but <laughs> it, it sounds very unfortunate. As in it's very nasty meat for you make to make you hurl. It's this bone sack. Okay. Honestly, I might just go topside and kind of explore the island some more. See if we can find any more cave entrances. Now that it's daytime, we can cover a lot, lot of ground. Okay, hunger's fine, but we might just eat something just kind of to get rid of it, like cooked fish, you'll just eat that. Yep, perfect. Fill our hunger up basically fully. Oh, is that chives? No, it's milk thistles. Eh, cool, but mm, don't really need it. Oh, there's a big chungus down there. I don't really care about the rat. I'll just, I'll leave it alone as long as I can get away with. I mean, worst comes to worst, I'll just kill it and just leave it there because I don't really need its stuff. <sighs> Either the rat gave up or it kind of got lost. No, it's there. It's just been kind of biding its time. What is that? A cypress tree? Oh, we got another one. You know what, I think I'm just gonna pull the trigger. There goes one. 
It does reduce our it, it it does reduce our malign by defending ourselves against them. So I mean, I don't really. It feels a little bad because I don't want to really need to or want to hurt or kill them. But you know, whatever. I will I will avoid the snakes though. I don't really need to bother them. Ooh, tomato. I don't know how big this island actually is. It's Mudkip. Blah, blah. Oh, it's a spider. I was like, what the hell is that? Again, don't really care. Spiders are way beneath my power level at this point. Hell, they were, they were beneath my power level once I had, like, bark armor and a hammer. <laughs> That's more than enough to take care of a spider. What do we have here? A snake. At this point, I'm just gonna like circumnavigate as much of this island as I can. Oh, I didn't know these guys could spawn on the top. All right, well. Thanks for the blood, I guess. What's this? Uh, Taniga? I mean, I guess, might as well. And actually, I don't, I don't care about the fucking animal glue at this point. You can just all rot, whatever. I've, I've got a uh, slime. I mean, I say that now. I'm like, oh, I need to use that animal glue because I can, uh, I can reduce the weight of my bronze shield. But actually, I can't do that if I'm uh, not at home. But we might be able to save the glue for a while. Maybe I don't know. Nah, I'm not gonna worry about it. By the time I make the by the time I get the glue home, it'd probably already be go bad. This gelatin lasts a lot longer than that, so yeah, we'll just uh, not worry about it right now. What's this? Shimmering fibers. Hmm. Are you what drops the shimmering fibers? Hmm. Interesting, but I don't know if there's any way I can really fight that. I feel like I've kind of explored most of this island already. Come here, slime. You're more useful to me than the than the brains. Oh, I think that split a few times. That <laughs> split twice. All right. Well, even even better. I've got a feeling I've explored most of this island already, which. Not a very big island, admittedly. Well, I guess let's swim across to this island, because I guess there's like a little middle spot here. The rat. <laughs> Bonk. Oh, it just has iron in the walls. All right. Well, that's interesting. It's like the one mountain range on this island. It's just like in the middle of it and it's just full of iron. This is making me think that I probably should go to a, a snow island at some point. It's 
spider over here shitting out silk. Mmm. Completely ethically sourced from the spider's ass. Through the swamp water. Yeah, it doesn't seem like there's much here other than just, you know. Now, what I could do is I could rest. Actually, we need to get some water before we do that. Because what I was going to say is we could rest and underground, and anything that is down there will just kind of come to us very quickly. So we can kind of use that to kind of cheese the spawns a little, I suppose. Hey, if I'm trying to get certain shit to come after me, like those hobgoblins, that seems like a pretty good way to do it. Oh, come here. Just gonna clobber you anyway. Might as well just get it over with. Ooh, can I fight you? Or are you gonna just run away? probably just gonna run away I probably need like a bow or something to kill those with I, I don't think I've ever used a bow like legitimately in this game to actually fight things <laughs> I think I've tried just shooting arrows around but I don't know if I've actually like used it to fight tangible creatures I'll tell you one thing, one this this bottle here is gonna get itself a few um glue. Probably use at least one glue on each of these. Yeah, this, this purple bottle is definitely getting at least one glue. Matter of fact, go give it, like... Three here. That is a very powerful bottle. And while we're at it, we'll just cook all this meat. Oh, the fire went out. Well, let's fix that. And with that, our uh, our food situation is essentially uh, solved. It wasn't really in dire need anyway, but it's definitely not in need now because those hobgoblins drop edible good meat. So, um, yeah, we're just gonna do that. Drop all these fucking bones. Oh, what are you doing here, senor? It's a random pirate ghost floating after me from during the daytime, nonetheless. No, yeah, we'll just fight with an axe, I don't care. Normally what you would want to do is equip a torch and start clobbering it. You better run. That's what I fucking thought. <laughs> it's like, ooh, ooh, I'm spooky. I'm like, are you really? And just start fist fighting with. <laughs> but yeah, fi most of the stuff like ghosts or whatever are vulnerable to fire. So, lighting a torch and using it as a weapon does a lot of damage to them. I mean, you saw what happened with that kraken. <laughs> Like I was doing like maybe one or two damage to it with my axe, but the way you use start using the torch, start doing like six. Anyway, let's uh, get some more seawater. I'll start using. Uh, I'll make all the glue, and then we'll we'll um. Oh, the fucking thing went out. 
That's fine. I've, I've got plenty of fire starting stuff on purpose. Like, it's another reason I was doing all that um, charcoal making is it just gets you so much fire starting stuff that you just do that like once every so often and you're just good to go for other adventures. All right, so we're gonna repair all of our other bottles that we have with us, and then we're gonna start a. Uh, We'll reinforce some. Um, each of them can get two. And 70. Hey, those are greatly improved. Now we're out of all the slime. And we've got all that food cooked. Now we just need to get some water in our systems, which that water I put in there earlier is now purified. So we're just gonna. We could just drink from the front and save durability on this, but this bottle just gives us. Actually, yeah, we will do that. Like, we'll drink from the front from these other ones. Because while we're, like, at the, the stills here, we don't really necessarily need to have, like, super efficient drinking. But when we're out and about, that's probably a good idea. Okay, cooked chicken here. Oh, that, that'll probably just fill us up completely. Just eating that. Um, well, we'll eat that, and they will probably eat a cucumber to kind of top up the... Uh, and we think and then we'll eat a cucumber to fit, top up our thirst cool and the, I think this is the one with the lowest durability we'll just use that okay, yeah we need to fill these back up and then just kind of go fuck off underground for a while <clears throat> see all that mining that we were doing on the other island was just generating a lot of malign and this is kind of my way of kind of recouping that haven't necessarily had to like dedicatedly do this before leave my robe alone I need to start using, I need to, need to do, use some glue on that, actually. Water skin. Oh, waste not, what not. I don't know if I'm gonna use it for anything. I'll probably just drop it on the ground with the rest of the stuff that I don't normally use. I mean, it is a good quality water skin. Eh, whatever. Yeah, I, I think in this file, like, I tried to jump immediately to glass. Which is the smart thing to do, because glass is just, you know, it's real good. All right. Snakes just splashing around the swamp water. I was like, what is going on here? Well, I guess another good reason why we're here is like all these slimes we found is is a pretty compelling reason to just kind of hang out in the swamps for a while. And hopefully we find some more when we're doing this resting thing we're gonna do. It's very gamey, but I mean this is a game. This isn't like some like this isn't a uh, storybook simulator necessarily like RimWorld is. And even then, doing gamey things with RimWorld's fine too, you know, it's, you know, it's whatever. And my question is, where, did, where was this uh, other entrance at? 
Is it down there? Maybe it might be. I can't. I just can't really remember where the other entrance is at. Oh, it, I think it was this. Yeah, I remember all these fucking cattails being everywhere. Okay, so we're gonna just sit here and we're gonna sleep on ground, and that should get us some friends showing up. Oh, you I actually got poisoned for the first time in like a long time. <clears throat> didn't know that you could uh I didn't know zombies could poison you. Huh. Well, I do have medicine water, thankfully. I could probably just tough it out anyway. Probably will. I see that slime down there. Mmm, hello. Hello, beautiful. Uh, extinguish. I will fist fight with the- I will fist fight with the slime. Where'd you go? Come back. Seven? Oh, that's not that bad. I was expecting it to be worse, honestly. No, I'm suspecting we can, uh,. I mean, you can definitely drink swamp water, but you probably shouldn't, really. What I was gonna say is I'm expecting you can use it to make glue with the slime, so we're gonna start a. F okay, yep, our po the poison pass. It's not that bad. Our, our some of our higher skills may have made it to where uh, poison just doesn't tick as many times or something. I don't know. Uh, yep, looks like we can use the very swamp water that exists down here. <laughs> yeah, these mage rubs don't have a lot of durability, so they don't get, like, a... I don't know exactly how the math works out. Mia, yeah. give me one second. I'm gonna use the bathroom.
All right, I have returned. Thank you for your patience. Okay, so. Poison's passed. It didn't really do much to us at this point. Oh, it's food. Thanks, I guess. <laughs> Shit, all right, well, that's, um, well, I guess we can test, I guess we get to test out the freaking, um, our new shield. <laughs> well, we, we have bested the Kraken. Good God, um... <laughs> we need better armor. Mmm, <laughs> yummy. I still can't read this scroll, can I? Probably not, well... We're gonna spend some time not underground, because hopefully that... What am I saying? That Kraken can spawn up top too. What the hell am I saying? If it really wants to, it can come and pay us a visit, wherever it may be, so who, who cares? I'll make a little campfire for down here, at the very least, because... Well, that was uh, interesting to say the least. We got a. Uh... Well, at the very least, we can use some swamp water to. Uh... Make some more animal glue for at least attempting to, um, let's see, this one is the lowest durability, so we're going to eat that one first. We're like gaining food from this. Like, we're just sitting here. I would say if we had like better armor, those Krakens would be nowhere near as scary, but we still don't have that better armor yet. <laughs> Cause I was, I was wanting to get this down some more. That's a bog body. That's annoying, because there's not much you can really do to get rid of them. Because I, I don't know if there's like a pierce attack style in this game. Oh, there is. 
I mean, I do have a uh, spear, which does do damage to them. Well, it does more damage to them than, uh, well, there's blunt, there's blunt, slash, and, uh, pierce there. I could probably do, I could probably be doing better with my axe, honestly. This axe has a uh, uh, three slash, and this has four pierce. Oh, well, the hammer looks like our little hammer here is doing some good damage. Yeah, you better fucking run. Part of first time in your fucking afterlife you've ever been fucking bothered by anything well that's the first time I've ever killed one of those a lot of bones it's kind of weird that has so many bones it's like why do you have so many bones bog body I demand to know all right well let's uh, sleep some more let's see who shows up you made a weird noise <laughs> boop <laughs> Well, there's there's some more food. Mmm, yummers. Uh, let's see, which one of these is the lowest? Um, let's see, one, three, four, one. It's probably you. Now is a good time to drink our water. I should probably bring more water with me if I'm gonna sit here and do this like kind of way to kind of grind out um, this way to kind of grind out more um, benign by fighting critters. Okay, we're gonna make our slime glue, make the meat, and put the meat in the bag. Got blue meat out of that. Has a long ass uh, spoilage time. It's like bluegrass, but meat. <laughs> it probably doesn't make any sense. All right, so what am I gonna use this uh, glue on? You're a very likely candidate. Yeah. Yeah, we tend we tend to use this uh, pestle and mortar quite a bit, so it's a good thing to use that on. All right, well let's uh, sleep some more. Oh, do I really want to deal with another one of these? Not really. No, we'll just, just hit the bricks. <laughs> oh God, I didn't think things could come out of the thing like that, huh? Well, the more you know. Maybe Krakens are the one thing that can. Hmm. Well, our HP is basically full, so I mean. You know what they say. When in Rome, live like the Romans. Yeah, I was hoping for some more favorable damage blocks than what I was getting there, because... Asshole, fuck you. Okay, that one did a bit more damage to me than the last one. And those don't really give you any uh, <laughs> any benign when you kill them. Probably for the best, because otherwise people probably farm them for benign. But, um... Yeah, I didn't, uh... Honestly expect that to chase me out of the underground. Not gonna, not gonna lie. 
That said, if I find another one, we're gonna just have to leave because I just don't have the health. Try some more sleeping and see what happens. I'm a bat. Alright, well. Thanks for the meat, I guess. I guess? I've got so much. Uh, if I can get some, some swamp water real quick, I can, uh. Make some animal glue. <clears throat> well, let's keep throwing all this food in the bag here. It's like I'm gaining positive amounts of food from this. feels a little it's it feels a little weird but I mean what can you really do about it <clears throat> oh yep yeah uh, we're gonna just um hit the bricks uh, you can uh, you, you can keep this island mr. Kraken honestly we probably if we leave it'll probably just despawn so that's <laughs> <laughs> That's probably our best course of action at this very second. Is just go, like, like drink some water from our our solar stills, grab a bottle of it, and then just leave. Hit the bricks. <laughs> I go, I'm almost. I'm like 99% sure that thing's still probably gonna be following me, even though I'm uh. Over here. Oh yeah, we got some more. We got some more cute, some more cumbers, you know. I got time to pick up some cucumbers. Oh, I also planted some apple trees. It looks like those definitely aren't native to this island. All right, well. It was fun while it lasted, but we've got a kraken that wants to like end us. Although, frankly, me just like coming over here and just walking around healed a lot of my HP. So maybe I should just fight it. Nah. Nah. I need to get some better armor from going toe to toe with those again. Because, yeah, I was getting slapped around pretty handily. Like 14s and 8s and 10s. Yeah, not, not great. Okay, well. OBS does not like this game. It's been constantly saying like encoding blah blah blah, but like this is like a fucking like pixel game and it's a tiny pixel game at that. OBS, you're you're drunk, go home. Alright, well. Yeah, it's probably in my best interest to just leave. I could fight the Kraken, but eh. I do not need more shark meat, thank you. I mean, I think I'm out of shark meat, but I don't need more meat. Like my poor, my inventory, my poor bag is just full of full of garbage. We sure are sailing. Right, 
Um, Weedy Shores, Wild Shores. Oh, that's a nice cap. Okay. We might go there soon. But I think I, I, I should probably make some armor before I do that. Yep, oh, Calm Breezes are home. Let's go ahead and go. Yeah, I figure if I can just if I can just deal with my um, my brain's like, oh, I don't want to make any armor until I'm absolutely like the best at it, so I don't waste stuff. But I might as well just make some armor so I can defend myself against fucking krakens because <laughs> they have started showing up. I don't know if it's because of like day count or something, but like I hadn't seen any up until this stream like at all. So something must have changed. There's always just so much to do in this game. Like if you're trying to like, let's make landfall and bully this slime. Poof. It's bully indeed. Bully is an understatement. Beat that ass, beat that fucker to death. Oh, there's another one. <laughs> All right, well. We're just bullying wayward. <laughs> We're just bullying, <laughs> we're just bullying wander. Random wild slimes. Oh, that one split. I think it split twice. Well, yeah, there's a chance when you hit slimes that they'll just split into more. Ah, oh, look at all our delicious food. We got coconuts there, which, as lo along with the pineapples, are completely superfluous. Like, no, we don't need them. Like, if we're really desperate for plant food, we've got all these cucumbers that I'm not eating either because I've got way too much meat. <laughs> we're doing too well. Uh, we are gonna start eating some of this meat that's a little uh, more damaged than the rest, durability-wise, 1.6. We'll eat that one. Slime glue. Well, it's not glue yet, but it will be soon. Yeah, the rest of this glue I will you I'll show off the kind of weight reduction regiment that we that we I did with uh, some of my other stuff you need glue to do it because otherwise your your item is gonna just run out of durability and break basically what you do it's like let's go to our, um, our little shield here and uh, we can use a Uh, let's 
see, is it a refinement? Okay. Let's see, refine two, refine three, refine two, refine. Is bronze. Okay, tin is the worst. Bronze does appear to make um, the best refinement tool, so we're probably gonna actually get one of those made before we go any further. So I think we need a talcum powder here. That's limestone. Uh, do I have a good talcum powder? I do. All right. Oh, let's continue the game. I pressed the wrong key, and let's make one of these. It's a slightly better than the iron one because that's refined three. This one is refined four, which I would imagine lets us reduce weight a little bit more easily. Maybe I don't. I don't know. <laughs> I'll just keep those in reserve, I guess. Uh, so yeah. Now that we have that. A set of small bronze tools used for filing, sharpening, shaping, and general refinement of other items, reducing their weight in the process. It reduces their durability, but it also reduces their weight too. So, like, yeah, let's let's repair you to get some uh, free XP, and then we're going to um, let's see. Kurt, uh, weight is ten, and durability is. Well, thousand and thirty so we're gonna refine with you weight one got reduced by point one but the durability went down significantly and yeah, now the durability is like very low <laughs> but we can reinforce with slime glue to get it back up and then we can repair it and keep going until we run out of glue which will make this very lightweight but very strong eventually it's also going to increase our blacksmithing skill a little bit as we're doing it too yeah, I don't dare get much lower than that because I don't want to like mess up and break it we've already reduced like 1.2 uh, weight off of this shield and we're gonna reduce more weight yet yeah. Okay. Yeah, there's only so far you can refine something's weight down to, so. We'll refine it either until I can't anymore or until I run out of glue. Once I run out of glue, that's the final time we're gonna do this thingy for it. Cause I still want, you know, a new a usable tool. Alright, so. Okay, and now we're gonna fix it up again. Oh yeah, we have to light our fire. Okay, and then we'll fix our shield and that shield is like 2.4 pounds less. <laughs> Sweet. Super worth. Okay. Armor wise, let's compare and contrast. Chest 9 defense, minus 1 blunt, minus 2 cold. I'm thinking we're gonna probably want 
fur mittens and like fur boots because those give us a lot of uh, cold resistance cold insulation rather figured that might be go a good way towards uh if we go to a snow place perhaps we will have you know an adequate protection then again i don't really know if that works <laughs> So boots are no-go, gloves are no-go, so we're probably gonna go ahead and work on getting And these two will be fur. I might keep the belt out of um, scale. Especially since I don't think you can probably make a you probably can't make a bronze belt. <laughs> But the other stuff, you probably can make bronze things. But yeah, uh, bronze chest piece. If we can, get, if we can actually make it, we actually we actually made it. Honestly, a little surprised we were able to do it because the the, crap, the success chance is like was like forty. <laughs> well, with what bronze we have left, we might make a a bevor maybe because that's a uh, seven defense compared to. Uh, two <laughs> that's another five defense but as, as it is equipping this bronze armor is gonna give us a nice bit of a uh, def more defense as well yeah like five more defense compared to the uh, scale granted it is a lot heavier like 10.5 compared to uh, 4.2 but with enough time and effort we can reduce that weight down with uh you know the scraping stuff scrapey scrapey you know as they say chariots chariots <laughs> uh let's just move all these cucumbers into our bag i mean i'm I'm, si I'm sitting here thinking oh well, we'll keep the scale armor in case we uh need it but that's a lot less likely compared to other games because this is permadeath baby like if we die, we die. So if I like die, it's not gonna like I'm not gonna like be like, oh, I need a backup set of armor so I can go get my other stuff. No, we're dead. So I'll keep it, but it's probably not gonna get used ever again. I'm pretty sure bronze is the best armor. Like let's see, it's six defense. One slash, one piercing, and one cold. And bronze is nine defense. It's probably like in the areas that it's weak to, uh, that it's weak to. It's probably equal to to iron, but for all other areas, it's superior. Like it's it's better blunt overall anyway. It might be worth it to keep uh, the bev. Like for now, we'll keep the bever and the, the belt as scale, and we'll get some fur boots, and then we'll get uh, bronze of the other pieces, like legs and uh, such. Let's see, greaves, ten ten ingots, and the helmet. That's a bever, not a helmet. So we need 18 more bronze. I'm almost certain we have enough stuff to do it. We just need uh, to get some more of the coal. Which is what I was doing until I got rudely interrupted. Oh, that's a wholesale wolf. All right, uh, hello. Uh, we're about to fight. I guess we can test our armor out. Well, all right. That was underwhelming. I feel like killing that made my malign go up. <laughs> it feels like it, anyway. Anywho, we got lots of stuff to process here.
Like we're actually gonna use our like knife, our our blue knife here to cut stuff up for like the first time in like a million years. Cause I've just been using shark teeth for for the last forever. All right, well that's a a lot. Let's offload all of this tree bark. There we go. Well, I think that's actually full of tree bark. One, two, eight, fifteen, like ninety-two tree bark can fit in one tile, roughly. That's uh cool, I guess. <laughs> and then we've got like We got all this stuff we're gonna dismantle too. Well, I guess that's woodworking XP, that's cool. Wasn't exactly what I was doing this for, but you know. When life hands you lemons. here got a nice workout wow yeah good repair hammers are very important because that was missing like almost half its durability and I repaired it almost to like its full durability plus only like minus like 16 that's huge iron hammers very good I wonder if bronze hammers are better for repair I don't know I have to look maybe maybe not but yeah we've got all these uh, pulls we're gonna drop all the normal ones just so I can kind of well all the normal ones I guess will fit in that pile okay and that leaves us some of these poles which we are likely gonna use these ones to light the others <laughs> on fire because these is a lot less durability on your fire start and stuff to do it that way and as long as these have one durability it doesn't really matter so yeah let's uh we'll just close all this crap for now i'm not really i'm not mining right now so it's not gonna do me any good i'm not open <clears throat> Uh, let's go to zero drag this down here and Let's see what are our choices I think we have to have one of these on fire before we can do what I was thinking to do. So we'll we'll hold off on on that. I'll re I'll reconfigure that once we get one that's actually on fire. For now, let's drop these four. Ninety one wooden pole. Oh jeez, that's maybe a few too many. drop them until I <laughs> can move without hurting myself okay well let's start let's I got the four key hot key let's start just building them probably need to take a little bit of a water break after this one
Yeah, we're, we're mass producing charcoal here, because if you set them up like this, it will uh, turn the, the when the when the torch burns when this quote unquote torch burns down to the ground, it'll create charcoal. I'm gonna reserve these four spots up here for planting the torches down because when the torches are on fire that you're holding as long as they have like two or one durability left you can build them like the others and then they'll also turn to charcoal so you can use six star fires and when their durability is almost out you can then use them to get just more charcoal so we want to make sure there's plenty of space for that okay I can't put those on dirt I didn't think I could Seem, dirt seems a little hard to uh, penetrate with the stick, but... Ah, that chicken that's up there must have been the, the egg that I had down there. So we're likely going to tame that and re-hitch it up. Well, we are a little hungry. Let's look at our... Let's get grub, because that's the one we care about while we're just out and like, around, the, around the house, I guess you could say. And let's consume, I might as well consume something that gives me a little bit of thirst too, so probably one of these pineapples, so yeah. And then we'll just drink from the front. I, I will grab some water with my good bottle so I can... There we go, and those waters will just kind of recover on their own, now that there's more water in them and the sun is shining. so much charcoal out of this because every one of these sticks will turn into charcoal now, I don't want to start this fire stuff on like grass because that sounds like a, a very bad idea like a hilariously bad idea like that's how you get like forest that's how smoky bear comes to your house and just beats you to death <laughs> you like intentionally starting a forest fire like that while funny and interesting, it's probably not a very nice thing to do. Yeah, we're... This is gonna be the biggest... This is already the biggest, like, fire starting project I've ever done. And it's just... Yeah, we're gonna use up as many of these poles as possible. Just do it all at one time. I don't really have any reason not to just do this this way because we we do need charcoal or we need like a source of coal and well this is definitely a way to get it this is kind of bordering on excessive but I mean Go big or go home, they say. And I'm already at home, so I might as well go big. Okay, we ran out of poles. Oh, a rabbit. Oh, a rat. Hello, little guy. Thought I was saying that this rabbit got tamed, which, I mean, fair. Rabbits are cool and all, but... I'd rather chase it away so it's not in... Like, you can move. Come on. I'm just gonna chase this rabbit away as opposed to like scaring it or whatever. 
I was gonna release this rat. I don't. It's it's cute and all, but like you know. Don't hit me. It hit me because I was close. Oh, hello. Hello, Satan. Goodbye, Satan. <laughs> I, yeah, my Milan's still pretty high, so... There's a non-zero chance a Kraken just comes out of the fucking woodwork to try to eat my ass. Um, we are gonna use one of these other poles. We probably need to use one of these other poles to start the fires. Because some of these ones have like, nine, like 16, 17 durability, which is great. But we've got a lot planted down there. Yeah, we're gonna use um, these ones to uh, to start our fires. Uh, we got six here. Let's pick those up. There's one purple one there. We'll keep that there. And I suppose these are just gonna get saved for next uh, go because we already got a lot planted down. All right, well, let's get the show let's get the show on the road. This is going to be a little absurd, but you know. Okay. And so we're going to equip to main hands. And this one now we're going to drag that down here. Oh, I need to uh, light it on fire first, I think. Ignite and now that we have a, uh, a lit pole torch, we can put it down here and start fire. Use any lit pole torch, nice. So that means even if I light one of these other ones on fire, we're, we'll be able to do it so it's, it's zero. That makes my life a lot simpler by, I don't know how to, how else to explain it other than I don't have to click like 10 million times to do this now. You have two durability left. I think you need at least one durability to uh, build you. Yeah, okay. And now we can uh, ignite the next one. Maybe, oh. You have to equip it first. There's still a little bit of clip of clicking, but yep. And now we can uh, continue our fire starting journey with hotkeys. I really want to be surprised if like this first part isn't like done burning down by the time we get the rest of it lit on fire, because that's a, that's an awful lot. Okay, now we're gonna build. Go to main hand, ignite, and we will I had a pattern going for a while, but I was like, yeah, it probably makes more sense to not do just a pattern like that. Which your booty do I have left? Two. Okay, which means now we've got to find somewhere to put you. I mean, I guess we could probably put you up here where I kind of set you aside at a spot anyway. Yeah. Okay, and then we'll equip. Whip another pole and ignite, and then we'll go <laughs> go back down here and continue. I probably need more poles than what I brought with that I slated out. As I was saying, I bet something's gonna start being done before I even finish. This is a, a ridiculous amount of fire to, to start. Like an absolute silly amount. I, I've never done this many. How 
how many, how much durability you have. Two, one, all right. As long as they make sure not to get it to zero, I'll be able to build it and let it burn down too. Yeah, doing this is a much uh, more effective way of doing your um, your fire making. Fire making was this fucking RuneScape. Uh, you're um, you're igniting here because it you use like basically one durability off of your fire starter. To light the first pole, and after that, you just use the pole. You just use poles themselves to start fire. All right, how much durability you have left? Two, one. Okay. It really doesn't take long for these to actually burn down. Now, when you get to the when you get to higher tiers of poles, I think our durability does have a factor in how long they take to burn. Up. Can't you see I'm busy right now? Creepy bog critter. You're literally just wasting my time. Go away. Be gone. Alright. Ignite. Alright, equip the main hand and then ignite. There's a bit of clicking involved in this, but I mean, that's hardly the worst thing to do in a game about clicking. This game like Moonlights is a point and click game. <laughs> uh, let's see, how much durability you have left? Two, now you have a one. Okay, in that case, let's build. And now we might need another stick. But that's fine, that's why we have extras. Yeah, I bet I bet some of them are already burnt down. Yep, I are, I can already see some of the far end already being burnt down to the charcoal that we will eventually be getting. Yeah, while we're here, I'm just gonna pick up another pole because I'm probably gonna need another one. much do we have left two one well there's a spot over here I guess let's uh, build you here okay and I think we can use this the, the embers of this one to ignite to equip and ignite this one and then we can finish off our little adventure Cause that's kind of what this was is a little bit of an adventure this is a, a little ludicrous starting all these fires two one uh we're gonna we'll start this fire with our normal fire starter and then we're gonna build you and let's go do something else for a little bit let them all finish burning like we'll go off this way. It, that like took a lot of uh, out of out of a stamina wise. Look at all that fire. Yeah, I can hear just I can hear them all just burning down. I mean, fortunately, well, I could I could probably make some uh, t copper right now. I would if there's like, is there some other requirement I'm somehow missing for copper? Tongs. I need I need another pair of iron tongs, honestly. So, let's make them. 
Those are tin tongs. Oh, I need a talcum powder. Oh, I suppose. Hmm. Tongs five compared to tongs four. So bronze is technically the best thing to do for tongs, but for now it's fine. We will, we will deal with it. make a really nice uh <laughs> that might make a really nice um ingot we're hurting ourselves well let's drink some water that should get us some more um stamina for making more copper oh, we're gonna be doing this later too in minecraft because um last few weeks of the big saturday stream i, I started playing a mod pack called all the mods eight but something about that mod pack just has been constantly crashing. So we're gonna go back to mod, all the mods seven, which I like the mods that are in that one better anyway. And we're not gonna use shaders because I have not been able to really get shaders to work properly. Like bef before the stream, I might try to fiddle around with the shaders one last time just to kind of see if I can get them to function. That's a bronze ingot. I must have accidentally made that without really meaning to. Well, that, that time was intentional. Oh yeah, we can get strength increases from blacksmithing too, so you know, that's fun. Well, we moved a grand total like two. Coppers in this pile, like seven more. And there's like one tin in the pile too. Eh, probably more than one tin. Yeah, there's quite a bit of tin. We'll leave the tin ingots on the floor because they're very light, so they can just kind of a lot of them can just kind of fit in the same space there. Yeah. A major reason we want this cop this coal is so we can use a lot of this stuff to make a We can use a lot of this stuff to make um bronze. So we can make some bronze armor so we are more defensively ready to deal with uh to fit a lot of, a lot of that in there all right so we're gonna need a lot of 
find even more talcum than we've already found. I might start experimenting with trying to make some uh, iron chests as well, just because we have a lot of iron bars, but we do need to make some better tools once I figure out whether bronze is better than uh, Like, let's look at iron and see. Cause there's like a, an iron double axe, which is nine slash, and then an iron axe, which is seven slash. Is there any difference between them other than maybe, uh, takes twice as much um, chop seven as opposed to chop six. Yeah, it's probably more worth it our time to make the uh, double axe. So let's search for double axe and see what metals we can do that out of. Let's see. Rod iron double axe. Eight slash attack. Ten is six. Iron is nine. Copper and bronze is ten. Is, bron is this bronze double axe the best one we can make? if so that's what we'll make it even has better harvests it looks like yeah it's got like hard let's see iron is harvest five butcher five chop seven this one's chop eight yeah the bronze one's definitely better by a good deal and frankly 44 percent chance of making it is pro is not even that bad comparatively all right well so that's kind of what we're shooting for here i need to put these tongs in here so we need to get that and then we'll just drop more of this on the ground finish my coffee off uh, it's cold now but it still tastes good because I mean I just put sugar <coughs> I just put like put sugar in it so it doesn't taste like rancid acidy ass you know because otherwise it's kind of what coffee tastes like if you don't like put like sugar or cream or whatever and it just kind of tastes bad but with, with enough sugar it's it's fine I can, I quite, I enjoy it. Oh, hello, spider. You wanna die? God damn, shield just bonked him. Now we can use all these feathers from that one chicken I had that got killed by the Kraken. We can use those feathers to, um,. Make ourselves some arrows, but I've never done the archery, and I don't know if I want to start. Oh, okay, so not not all of it is done burning down yet. Funny enough, the green ones are the ones that aren't done yet, but that's to be expected. They had hired durability, but look at all of this charcoal. That's we're, we're gonna have to turn on uh, auto pickup when moving. And start like walking in little rows. We do, the ashes aren't completely worthless either. We could like make like cement out of them. Which we can use that for building. Just like, you can only use it for making like floors and walls, but you know, we kind of need some of those at some point because the little wood ones are enough, but you know. That's an absurd amount of resources from all this. It's probably the, like the most effective way of doing it too, is just plant a bunch of poles and then use a few poles to kind of start fires. Cause I could have just used my fire starter 
it would have been a little less convoluted, but it's probably going to be convoluted anyway, so I might as well make it less resource intensive on the stuff I actually care about. <laughs> Fucking spider. I'm not, I'm not even picking other stuff up at this point. I'm just like, you know what? You're just kind of... I'm doing this like one row at a time at this point. The good thing about this charcoal is it's pretty light. Like I think it weighs roughly around the same weight as the uh, pole that you use to make it. And poles don't weigh that much in the grand scheme of things. That said, I am about to like run out of space. Plus, you're getting all these ashes, like I said, that you can use for, uh, some, to make ash cement or whatever. Let's go ahead, let's grab a snack, which one, this one's easily the most, uh, there we go, snack has been grabbed. What the hell, drop the granite pickaxe. What? Huh. Probably from like the Kraken or the uh, little Pete monster. Cheesy Pete's. Oh. oh, I'm still picking up stuff that I'm just walking around under. Well, that's not gonna fly. Let's uh, put that back down. And I could have swore I had my. I think I was storing my ash snake. Ugh, I didn't mean to kill the snake. It just kind of rolled up on me as out of nowhere. Well, that's unfortunate. Didn't mean to, but so, such is life when you're just a very powerful creature. All right, and drop all the ashes from that. <laughs> just, we, we dropped like 45 piles of ashes on the ground. And there's still more to pick up too. So like, yeah, there's, we, there's a lot. Of resources that we gain from that and there's still more to grab because yeah okay cross that off and let's start just unfortunately doing the charcoal grinding does raise our malign but See, this one weighs 0.4. I think we're losing very small amounts of weight when we're doing this. It doesn't really matter because this stuff's very light anyway. I should probably be doing this not outside. <laughs> Uh, I'll do this until my stamina is out and I start taking damage. Alright, well, that didn't take long. Alright, well, let's, uh, sleep. I don't like the sound. Oh, I was gonna say, I don't like the sound of that, but, I mean, it's just, like, right here. You come to my house. You fucking better run. Come here. No, come here. Come here, asshole. You come to my house. <laughs> you fucker. Whatever. Oh, you want some too? Alright, cool. Try me. <laughs> I'm just trying to sleep. And I wake up and there's this demon flying about me. And it's like, gonna try to fight me. And I'm like, alright, let's go. And it's like, wait, I, I changed my mind. No, you didn't. Get, get the fuck back here. <laughs> yeah, if you want to, like, min-max your drinking, just make sure you have, like, a really good water bottle like I have. And then just drink, ev like, gather water from every single one. Okay, that one's not any water in it. I must have missed. 
Did I just miss those? Huh. Well, that's why I got backups in case I'm stupid like that, which, as you can tell, this is definitely a thing that happens. So that's why you just have more than, uh, yeah, you just have more than one set. And I did have 12 here, as you can probably tell from, like, this setup. But I took four of them with me to the uh, Swamp Island that we were at earlier, initially. And then whenever I um, was going to go to the... I went to a desert island, I decided to take a full eight of them with me, so I made eight more of these. Took them there, and they have served me very well when I was there. We'll probably end up going back if we need more... Uh, copper, but... Suppose we'll see. Anyway, let's uh, continue the charcoal grind, literally. Yeah, all this blacksmithing stuff takes an off, gets you an awful lot of malign, so. You definitely want to do it when you're a little more established. Alright, how much this will fit on the floor? All of it, oh my god. That's a lot, that's a lot of charcoal. Uh, cool. Let's walk through our little, oh, hello! <laughs> <laughs> I was wondering if that'd have any friends at my back door here, and the answer is apparently yes. Jeez. Jeepers jeez. And there's still just more to pick up. <laughs> God. On one hand, it's very good, because we have so much coal now for just doing stuff with. Cool thing is like if in if in a pinch if you need medical stuff, you can do this to like charcoal is considered a medical item as well. As as you can see, we can make a medicine water. We're not gonna do that with our purple bottle because that's our drinking bottle, but we'll probably do that with one of the other bottles. That's all the mess cleaned up. Let's turn that back off. Oh, shit. I didn't mean to do that. Whoopsie. I don't, I don't even know my own strength sometimes. So you can make cobblestone flooring out of just, you know, stones. Like, just a little, like, piles of stones like that. We'll probably end up doing that for a lot of in here. Because you can crush, like, all kinds of stones down into just little stones. Otherwise, you have to use, like, just specifically, like, big, normal stones to make these granite floors. Which, they look nicer, in my opinion, but... Utility being able to use every kind of stone to make these this floors cannot be... Um, exaggerated because it's very nice uh, let's see any other uh, piles of ash other than actually no I, I, I know why this ash is here is because I was specifically experimenting with making uh, some, the cement Oh wait, I forgot I did I don't need to make the medicine water because I just never drank it when I was poisoned on the island because I was like, oh I got poisoned, I just kind of ignored it and then went away. <laughs> so <clears throat> Well let's drop our medicine water bottle and our good water bottle and Gather liquid, gather liquid, gather liquid and that needs a does not need a lit fire 
Okay. It does take quite a few ashes, though, I believe. Okay. You, you do need a you do need a fire source to make the ash cement blocks, but that appears to not even have to be a kiln, which is interesting. Granted, you can only use these to make uh, floors and walls, but we'll probably make some. We'll probably make walls out of these and then make like cobblestone floors and actually have a nice looking base eventually. But yeah, it's ten piles of ash for one brick. <laughs> it's a little uh, labor intensive to make, but I'm not. I'm kind of just making it as we go. I'm not like going out of my way to really. Do it, do it specifically. Well, you definitely can if you want to just get a bunch of ashes, just get a bunch of stuff like this and just light it on fire. I don't, know, I don't know if there's like some things that are just not flammable, but like, like with stuff like this, yeah, you absolutely can just do that. Okay, we don't have enough to make more. I did. Th I do. I do think I have some ash blocks. What is this? Oh, more talcum powder. Okay, and yeah, we do have some ash uh, cement blocks. Because I was like, oh, I'll make this and make like a better. F I was thinking I could make like a better forge or something out of it that way, but no, you can only use them to make a. Uh, like, like it takes like eight of them to make a wall. Which I'm totally fine with. As far as walls go, it's probably pretty light. Like, let's pick up this wall. We'll put it down so we can see what it looks like. Ooh. Yeah, I like that. It's nice and smooth. And then we can dismantle this log wall. get logs and then you can dismantle these for stuff to just make more ashes <laughs> um, what is, what's what's this just more it's probably a rat I killed and just didn't care about picking its body up right, let's dismantle this Yeah, the, we'll keep the planks for making more charcoal, but like, I think this will be our designated burn pile. Like, all these feathers, we can turn into ashes as well. Like, like anything, I, I think you can probably turn most things into ashes. Except maybe stones. Maybe, maybe not stuff like sand. I mean, I can throw a granite bullet in there just, just to kind of test. Same, same with some of these like intangibles like weird things like claws and bones I doubt that's gonna turn to ash but I could be wrong and if so I could just do this to get a lot just clean up my beach a little bit That is gonna become another uh, another torch, though. You best it bet. I'm actually gonna do that right now before I forget and the fat goes to waste. Okay, I wasn't sure if I still had some animal fat laying around because I was like, oh wait, do I already have some? The answer is a uh, no. Not specifically. Oh, let's repair that while I'm thinking about it because we used it a lot. Oh, more stuff for the ash pile, I guess. Okay, actually, just dis disassemble this uh, shirt 
for the fabric so that we can use that to make the uh, the torch or at least a torch oh we have to make tallow first fine we'll just grab another pole we'll do that so I can get these uh, animal fats used up properly Torches are very nice to have when you're going underground, so just stocking up on them again is pretty sweet. Oh, we're a little peckish. Let's uh, get some more meat going. Unfortunately, we just have so much, it's probably going to eventually all go bad before we can even get through it, but I will <laughs> give it an honest effort to get through it properly. We also have some ashes in here. Any others, or is this all just uh, granite? Granite, granite, granite. Don't take me for granite. <laughs> okay, and then. Man, it's something else you can do with all like the rot piles, too, is like uh, just. So I don't strictly know how much of this is actually going to turn to ash or not. So we're going to... It's going to be a bit of a test. Oh, I forgot about the snake. Well, snake meat. Yeah. Okay, we'll keep the scales even though I'm well past the time, the point of... Uh, like well pretty well past the point we've got a lot a lot of tree bark here as well uh, just a lot of stuff here now I want to keep this uh, beach sand and this refined sand because that's for making glass though I mean we've got plenty of glass now hmm how many feathers are here 47 feathers well that's probably going to be more useful as ash to me if I want to make some walls out of the ash bricks so yeah let's um let's start that drop all feathers keep these planks for the next time I want to do a bunch of charcoal and start a fire using one feather and one excuse me what Huh. All right. I didn't think feathers could be used as like fire starting stuff. Maybe they're like tinder. They're probably tinder. Oh, yeah, you can see stuff starting to take damage. Oh, some of it turns to charcoal, it looks like. Maybe. I think. I don't know. I guess we'll find out what's left in the pile after it burns. Because that yeah, is a roaring fire. I don't think I've seen a fire quite that big before. Just hold, sit here and hold, sh hold shift. Lots of ash, some charcoal. Excuse me, goat. That's not what you want to be doing, buddy. I will, I will fight you. Ooh, my skill legs are a little damaged. Got 
God damn, how many of them are, how many of you are there? How many of those split? I feel a little bit bad about the goat, but it was trying to destroy my tree. Well, the fire's still going. I'll just throw the goat stuff in there. Uh, here I have some bones, some brains. All right, good talk. <laughs> I suppose I should probably cook this uh, meat. And this reptile meat. Reptile meat. Mm, 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 mm. Delicioso. <laughs> we got another bit of animal fat that we can use for another torch. I just so I'm gonna have a pole here. So let's do that. Cannot cannot overstate how nice it is to have just a bunch of torches I can use instead of having like one shitty bark torch. Yeah, I was, I was assuming the stone stuff wouldn't burn down, but... Kind of just watching the fire, because, I mean... I'm, I'm, I'm guessing that the, uh... Oh, maybe that will turn to ashes. leave it for a while see what see what happens with it meantime we've got some uh, uh it's tin ore looks like it in, in the meantime though we've got um, charcoal to deal with Saving scared me a little bit. Not gonna. I was like, uh oh, what's happening? All right, uh, how much of this will fit on the floor? All of it. Okay, so let's see. How much? Maybe I should do, the, do it the other way around. Yeah, we're gonna drop all carbon powder. That's so much. Two, four, five, six, eleven, twelve, fourteen, fifteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-two, thirty-six. I got like over like a hundred and like ten freaking carbon powder there now, just in one pile on the floor. That's ridiculous. <laughs> well, we're not. We'll have to worry about that for a little bit, I guess. I really went a, I went a little went a little overboard. Still going. I guess we might as well use the fire to uh, our advantage here. Oh, 
Ooh, our skill. Well, at some point soon, we're going to be replacing these with bronze anyway. Stinky! No, you. Welcome. Welcome. Thanks for stopping in. I've been just doing stuff on our little fun roguelike game here. We started a massive fire, as you can see. We, we burn a bunch of stuff. And the fire is just still going. I think it might be... Yeah, it's reducing that, the durability of that bone that's in the pile there. It's just... This fire is just going. But we're going to use up some of the... Uh, you're going to use the fire to make some more glue. Oh, sweet. Say... Yeah, so thanks for staying high and say hi to E for me when you're when you go. Alrighty. More glue. Bunch of glue. We're gonna go back to doing more of the uh, refinement stuff at the forge to our um, <clears throat> to our uh, shield until it cannot be refined anymore. That we have reached the limit of our refinement of the uh, of our shield. In that case, let's light the fire. Let's reinforce it with another glue. Actually, no, we'll, we'll, we'll hold off on that for now. Because I would like to start refining. We reduced that thing from like 10 weight to 7.2. That is a significant drop in weight. So we're going to do the same thing with our chest armor as well. We're going to start trying to refine its weight down a little bit. <clears throat> it's a it's a more of a like a long term uh, benefit thingy. I'm gonna risk it. Okay. Ooh yeah, we got real close. It's got one durability. Let's uh fix that back up to full. <laughs> basically back up to full. Good to know you can just get down to like one durability, and it'll still be fine. So that that, that gets us a lot more refinements that we can do as long as we're careful. This thing's already under nine under almost under nine pounds now. Okay, and then we probably could do another refine, but I'm not gonna risk. I'm not gonna fly dance that close to the fucking fire. Let's be real. Nine point one. Okay. Let's keep going. If we tried that again, it probably breaks, so let's not. Yeah, this is a little, uh...
let's deal with this bronze chest armor is gonna be the last thing we do with the stream here just refining it down reducing its weight scraping off the extra bits that don't have to be there it's also a great way of getting our blacksmithing higher too it looks like Finished refining the armor. Okay, let's repair it. And for good measure, we'll throw a we'll throw another um, glue on it. There we go, and then repair that, and that is as good as it's gonna get, probably. Lots of durability, like. <laughs> like 3.2 pounds less that's impressive like that's it's like not even twice as heavy as the scale mail that we had on previously and it's like more than twice as good defensively but yeah that's where our stream for this game is getting for today because me and my roommate get to do lunch so let's go ahead and start that process all right Okay, I think that's literally where we are. I'm just gonna double check. Like this game loads and saves really fast, so like it's not that big of a deal. Okay, so just make sure and then let's quit to me menu. Looks like it just saves the, the progress anyway, which is nice. Good good game. Really good game. Highly recommend this game. Alright, so that's where our well this stream is getting for today. I I got two more planned for today. This one is over now, so thank you all for coming by. Thanks for hanging out. Uh, let me see if I can raid someone real quick. Let's see who's on. Um, nah, I think I'm good. Uh, not really anyone on that I really would like to raid. I mean, I'll look at Twitter real quick, see if anyone's, like, streaming that I know. I'll just take, like, a quick scroll down the timeline, I guess. I know, I know, there are, there's a few people I know of that will be streaming later today, but that's later. So, unfortunately, it might not be live right yet. Well, unfortunately, I don't see anyone that's live right now on my Twitter timeline, so we're probably just going to end, and I will be back later, probably around like 12, 12.30, with a different game. So, I'll see y'all then. Bye-bye for now.